see those folks out there <laughs> shoveling that snow. We gotta be grateful for the dusting that we had today. It didn't even stick. Yeah, it no. Just came down and yep, went it's away. gone. Uh, and it went exactly as we expected. No surprises there. It really was, uh, really was uh, going along very, very nicely. It did snow heavily though at times this morning. In the middle of the morning, around 10, 11 o'clock, 10:30, 11 o'clock this morning. Here's what's going on right now in terms of that snowfall. It's on up toward Delaware Bay. You can see it over Delaware and on up into New Jersey. Uh, but for our area, we've just had a couple of flurries float on through in the past three hours. But now those have moved on off. Our skies have been clearing real, real nicely. But the cold wind that we've got, uh, it gets better. Tomorrow's going to warm up a couple of degrees. It's still going to be chilly, but at least we'll get rid of that wind. And it's been just icky. What since Sunday uh, in terms of uh, in terms of rainy cold weather, uh, but again uh, we've got finally the, everything moving on off. Our skies are beginning to clear, and again you can see some of this snowfall moving through this morning, and it's moving on up all the way on up into Jersey, and of course Connecticut got socked with a little bit of snow as well. Our skies haven't totally cleared off yet, uh, but they will do so. Here's that snowfall moving on in, little bit of rain at the start of things as well, but then heavy snow at times this morning, and down to just a couple. Of flurries which have moved on offshore. Seven o'clock tonight, 22 mile an hour winds, gusting at times near the shoreline to around 30 miles an hour. So, really, really chilly during the overnight hours. Now, that wind drops off a bit during the overnight hours, 26, 27. I'm going even colder than that, 19 degrees inland to around 24, 25 near the shoreline. As we are by the end of the day, tomorrow will likely warm on up into the low to mid 40s. Now, we move on into Thursday and we're looking at temperatures pretty close to 60 degrees uh, into the area. This is our Four in the afternoon, uh, seven o'clock in the evening on Thursday, and now we move on into uh, the weekend, Friday morning, or at the end of the week anyway. Friday morning, we've got some more rainfall into the region. By the uh, middle of the day, could be ending as a little bit of a mixture. So I'm just kind of stopping in this long range view at wherever I kind of see a little bit of action going on. Now we move on into Friday, the latter part of the day. All is well, all is gone. Now we move on in uh, through Saturday, it's fine. Sunday morning, uh oh, what's this? Well, it turns into all rainfall, just like last Sunday, this past couple of days ago. Uh, we saw lots of rainfall throughout the air, kind of a washout of a day. 10 o'clock in the evening, still some rain. 7 o'clock on Monday morning, still some rain. Now, as of yesterday, Monday was looking kind of chancy, ending with some snowfall into the area. Right now, it's just ending as a little bit of a mixture into the area. And then Tuesday, we get cold again. We'll put it all together in the seven day forecast in just a minute. Here's where we were between 9 30 this morning into 11 30. A little bit of a mixture, then some solid snow, heavy snow at times, then uh, on up to now. And you can see again, skies are clearing. 37, but it feels like around 32, 35 in Hampton feels like 24. Wakefield, 37 feels like 31. Melva, 33 feels like 21. You get some areas near the coastline. Again, we get a lot more wind. 37 feels like 29. Uh, New Produce, 36 feels like 26. So, again, very, very chilly day with the wind, the raw wind that we've got throughout the area uh, for the day to day. These are the solid, the solid winds. Uh, we're around 20, but gusting at times to 30, 26, 23. Uh, so again, very, very breezy day. Temperatures right now, 35 to about 37. Everything is just turning out exactly as we expected. It was just a lockstep in terms of what we expected for the after, for the day to light hours today. Uh, and somehow that rain doesn't taper off after midnight. It's gone. Our skies clear off after midnight. Uh, and there's where we are, mostly sunny. Not much wind for the day tomorrow, around 42 to 45. Around five degrees below average, average being around 49 degrees uh, for the day coming up for tomorrow. So we are looking again at a lot more sunshine, a lot less wind, and temperatures kind of bouncing up and down. Down tomorrow, up, then down again, then down again. Uh, then 50 by Sunday, 40, then 45. Every couple of days, we do see a little bit of moisture falling out of the sky.